as soon as I got done with my other video, new pictures came out. Well, there's only one thing we could do, my people, and that's talk about them. So let's do it. You know who it is. It's the Don. Tony Teflon. House Teflon. We pull the string. It's the Don. Tony Teflon. House Teflon. We pull the string. And this video was brought to you by Geek Fuel. Geeky goodness in every box. Not gonna waste any time about this. We're gonna get right into this. We see this is all about Jon Snow and his trip to Dragonstone. And as I said before in the other video, I think he spent the night there. I think he's gonna be there for a little while. So this is about a meeting between Jon Snow and Daenerys and the White Walkers and the threat of the White Walkers. And that's what this is all about. So in this picture, we see the Dothraki carrying Jon's ship. We also see Jon, we see Davos, we see Tyrion, and we see Melisandre all there and obviously before this uh there was a picture i'm gonna put it up now of Tyrion and gray worm and melisandre varies and daenerys and it looks like this is the same picture since melisandre's in that same sexy ass outfit and i will say that melisandre's outfit and daenerys outfit look just like cersei's outfit this season i don't know if that's a look they're going for but they all look like cersei to me without a doubt long may she reign so that looks like that's the scene of them going to meet John, and then all of a sudden we get the scene of them meeting John. That's what it seems like to me from these pictures. That's what I'm gonna go with. And we see John Snow shaking the hand of the Queen Tyrion Lannister. Now this seems a little crazy to me. I know everyone wants to say, "Oh, they were friends. They were at the war together. They really weren't friends." You know, Tyrion schooled John on a couple of things. He didn't really like John. It didn't seem like he wanted to be best friends with John or anything like that. That's not what it was. They just associates. They talked a couple of times. But it seems here that Tyrion is shaking his hand. And why isn't Tyrion going to shake his hand? Tyrion's not dumb. Tyrion wants Sansa's tall drink of water. He want that. So he know in order to get that, he going to have to be cool with John. So he probably like, listen, give me back my wife. I'll give you this Dragon Queen's ass. You know, it could be some swappity swap going on like that. That's probably what's going on in Tyrion's mind straight up. Because there's no doubt that this whole thing for Tyrion has more to do with Sansa than it does for John going there for White Walkers. Tyrion's got his own motive, and that's his motivations, man, to get Sansa's ass back. And I don't blame him, you know what I mean, to try to pull that off. But I think that that is what that means. But, you know, it's obvious that they were going to get together. Obviously, they're going to meet Daenerys, but it's good to see, but it's bad to see because these leaks, man, these leaks. We're going to get the whole season before the see a month before the season comes out. In fact, I'm, I'm thinking that the, all the episode is going to get leaked before the season comes out. Now in this next scene, we see Jon Snow, it looks like he is packing it up. Now, whether he was successful or not, it we can't tell. Daenerys, you know, she's got her hands in her queen position. And we see Tyrion staying here behind. Now, we've seen the other thing with Tyrion on the boat with uh, Davos and Gendry. It, you know, it looks like maybe that happened before this happened or something because Tyrion ain't going nowhere. But I don't know how that's possible because I really don't see how Tyrion could be on some spy mission in King's Landing with Cersei still in power and no one catching him. This seems far-fetched to me, but that's what it looks like it's going on here. And this next picture I'm about to drop right now is a doozy. But before I do, let me speak to you about Geek Fuel and why they are sponsoring me. Well, Geek Fuel is a mystery box company where you drop 13 to 15 bucks and you are guaranteed $50 dollars worth of stuff or around there you also guarantee the t-shirt in every box and the themes include movies video games comic books tv shows all that geeky goodness and this month is a special game of thrones box which is why they have me here and this is teflon don approved and here's the offer you can't refuse use my link and you will receive a free bonus item. And this bonus item is a dragon's egg. And this dragon's egg can either be something you put a stash in. Or you can use a different lid because it comes with two. So support me. Support Teflon TV by using that leak and heading over to Geek Fuel. Peace and stay sexy. Chip. Now, as I said, this next picture is a doozy, and here we have it, Jon Snow chilling with a Drogon head. Now, this could be either two things, people. It could just be Jon Snow, Kit Harrington on set having a little fun picking up the dragon head, or it could really be a real scene where the dragon is friendly to Jon. Now, I did a video a long time ago called How Wins a Winner Will End, and I said that Jon Snow 
would have cozy up to a dragon when he got to King's Landing when Daenerys is there. But obviously we have Aegon in that. And I put a whole scenario forth with that will happen with Aegon. This could be the exact same thing taking place right now. There is no doubt that the dragon will snuggle up to Jon. There is no doubt that the dragon will show a big affinity towards Jon, without a doubt. And I think that that's going to happen. But is that happening in this scene? I can't tell you that. It, as I said, it could just be Jon just holding the dragon's head just for fun. But it does look like that. And that's what I would go with if I had to go with anything. This last picture of Jon Snow, we see the Kraken and the wolf. And this Kraken is looking like he's getting choked the fuck out. You know what I mean? Just like UFC Hoist Gracie style. And John has every reason to choke this man out. In fact, I don't know how John can allow this man to live. If Daenerys backs this dude and says, nah, he's with me, you can't touch him, there's a good reason for them not to be French. Theon Greyjoy needs to die, and he needs to die at the hands of Jon Snow. There's nothing he can do to redeem himself. Listen, it doesn't matter that he, he fucked over Rob. He killed Cassell. He killed the Miller's boy. He's got too much blood on his hand. This man needs to fucking die. And I hope Jon Snow was the man to take him out. And I hope it's a horrible death, because that's what he deserves, a horrible fucking death. I can't stand Theon Greyjoy, as you can see. I like the other Greyjoys, but I don't like bitch-ass dickless Theon. And this last pick I'm going to go into right now is Sir Jorah Mormont with Tyrion and Daenerys. And they are on Dragonstone. Jorah is in a good set of clothes. <laughs> it's, and, and last time we see him, he was in some bummy shit. So he's in a good set of clothes. Listen, the man is cured of grayscale. Now, look, I did a video. How long ago? About six or seven months ago that Jorah Mormont will get cured of grayscale. And that Samuel Tarly will cure him. And I will stick by my prediction as I always stick by all my predictions that that is what happened here and that is why he is cured now people there will be a lot of people to try to claim that they have made things up if this happens to be the case but i tell you just check the timestamp. that's all you gotta do because ain't no one put out no video seven months only me only the don i'm the one who predicted that if that's the case, it may not even be the case. We have no idea. Maybe it was a tattoo down his back and ass crack that healed him. Who knows, but we will find out when this season comes on. But this has been a longer video than I expected for a couple of pitches. But, you know, in all honesty, people, I wish they would stop dropping these pitches. I don't want to see any more. And now they got this plot leak out. I have no choice but to look at this plot leak. So after I'm done with this video and uploading it, I'm going to look at the plot leak. And I may do a video on it. I don't know, but I'll look on it. So if you like the way to do this, please thumbs up this. Please spread this across the realm. And please subscribe. And until next time, you know who it is. Peace. And stay sexy.